According to the police, I'm a hardened criminal. A giraffe couldn't swallow my police record. It's too long. Since I first took the rap for tapping tills and cash registers in grocery stores, I've never been out of trouble. Things. The police have been places, on my trail ever since the friends, first Friends. Places. I've been in a dozen jails. Years and moments half forgotten. Like Laughs. Around fears. Street corners and songs and tears. The gang is still there. Memories are made the of this. The is it's bigger and tougher. Remember a time in which they coined the word gangster. The blazing 30s, mobsters, hoodlums, broads, malls, gats, and rods. Of puddings on the spot, rubbings out, and takings for a ride. that blew in the 30s in the United States were winds to be remembered and then forgotten hurriedly. Bowling through the dust bowls of the Middle West, scourging from the Atlantic to the Pacific, the winds of the Depression, as deep as it went, and it went deep. Days of the Bonus Army camping on Washington's doorstep, demanding decent treatment. Decent treatment meaning a living wage instead of an existence. In those first of the threadbare 30s, President Hoover had the unenviable task of leading the nation's administration. We all know better now. So go ahead, cast the first rock. At heart, the United States was as strong as now. Like now, a country of many races, colors, and religions, yet together making one people, a good people, but a people suffering as though from the plague. When you're down, what better than a drink? But they, meaning the law, wouldn't allow you a drink. Haven't you heard of prohibition? But when the people want something, they generally get it especially when the boys were so ready to supply it. And who were the boys? Well, no names, no lead in the belly. For the boys could get rough with canaries who sing. If they were rough with each other, it was generally good riddance. But getting rough with the law and decent citizens that was something else. They sure were a prize bunch. The baby faces, the pretty boy Floyds, the Schultzes and the O'Banions. Only their mothers ever had real affection for them. Their defense, the bribe, the mouthpiece, the slick alibi, with a laugh and a smile and a song. Who could take to heart such endearing characters as Jack Legs Diamond? The cops took them to heart so often it got to be monotonous. Yes, it seems funny now. But then, well, watch this character. Press interviewed while awaiting the last walk to the electric chair. Note the ego, the pride, the pretended artistic temperament. In this face, can you see any regrets? The chair's enough without this, he says, as, as though he went to the chair every other week. The chair's enough without this, isn't it? Soon, by and large, the nation got bored with the boys. And no one got more bored than President Hoover especially as he couldn't stir from the White House without an army of bodyguards. 
for by now the gangsters' activities had spread from drink to a thousand other profitable fields, from prostitution to the numbers game. The president had one bet noir in particular. This guy, he says, has got to be put away. This guy was the gentleman known as Al Scarface Capone. Here seen watching one of his races, which was probably fixed anyway. Hoover persevered. And it was the greatest surprise of the century when gentle Al got put away for 11 years for not paying his income tax. To young hero worshippers, one hero lost. Once the big guy had gone into stir, the gangster empire began to crumble. And week by week saw more faces going through the routine preparatory to a long stay in the pen. Yes, ladies, too. But though gang power might wane, there were still plenty of small-time operators to make a living in the only way they knew how, illegally. A wave of kidnapping, selecting a body well-heeled or with wealthy kin, the abductors were spirited away into hiding until they could, with the aid of ransom notes or threats, extract payment according to their assessment of the victim's skin. <laughs> The racket became a national pest. On this boat, sought out by police launches, a small girl was kept prisoner. In this case, the affair ended happily. Or should we say, unhappily for the boys. But then some guys never get the breaks.